Thank you for visiting the channel once again. And I would really like to thank you all for helping me pass the 100 subscriber mark. Today I'd like to share my experience with a Peak Design version 2 sling bag. It's been a very uh, minimalistic design and probably approach to carrying your camera gear. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with how much efficiently all the required equipments can be carried in this design. This comes in basically three variants. That's a three liter, six liter, and 10 liter. I've got myself the six liter. Also, uh, you can carry it as a sling bag or a hip bag as shown. And it's, I prefer carrying it as a hip bag while I'm you know, on the field shooting and while probably while traveling, I would use it as a sling bag. This can easily carry a 11 inch tablet a DSLR body with a couple of lenses or flashes or uh, yeah, you can also use it to carry your entire FPV with all the battery sets. So when I go to the field, uh, usually uh, all my camera gear fits in here. Of course, I do carry the bigger man proto uh, bag if I carry the 600mm lens that's especially for birding. Apart from that, if I do carry, it's the 7200. It easily fits under the side with the capture clip on here and this bag is capable of carrying holding a full-size monopod and this is from the three-legged thing definitely i'll be doing a review uh, how this fares and how much this is better or what the pros and cons compared to the siri 402 s if you see i have my uh, ftz converter you can carry, so this is, as I'm shooting with the 2470, this is the 1430Z lens. You can have a body. I always carry if it's for portraits, speed lights with triggers. So I guess uh, this should probably suffice all your day-to-day -day shooting activities, be it the 1430 or you want the 2470 and coupled with the 7200 and body, I think this would get you good going to a far around and again <coughs> shooting. Of course, also as this has a strap, I always would strap my ND filter kit beside it on the strap so that I have it all in front of me or my hip, so it's pretty easy uh, for a run and setup. And I think this is pretty small, and the amount of gear that it packs is actually pretty impressive for me. Definitely, the other bags which I use, the Low Pro or Pro Checker or the 450 or the 200, is much more bulkier than this, and this is pretty light. So what I usually carry is this along with a. DJI fly more pouch which comes along so I just have both along my waist and it's as simple as that capture clip uh, you have two mounting points so it helps you free your space inside your bag and of course you can use one I use it for a 7200 I do agree it's a little bit that heavier it might sag a bit but it uh, gets the job done for me and I don't have any issues. Been using it for more than maybe six to eight months now and I've never faced any issue. And really looking at the size of it, it's just hardly the size of a tab. And I'm really impressed with the amount of gear that it could accommodate. Two dividers, you can take them off at your, as uh, you wish to organize your stuff. It comes with extra pouches I usually put it for either my audio mic which is a Pico gear or you can put some extra batteries it comes with a pouch <coughs> wherein you can store your memory cards or a couple of accessories also it comes with a front pouch wherein you can stuff your sunglasses or probably your keys or peak design accessories or probably all your LN keys and all the stuff which you might require on the go. So overall, I am pretty impressed and I would recommend this as an everyday minimalist carry bag. I hope uh, this review is helpful for many of you at least. 
All right, so thank you. Until next time, bye-bye.